This ape is trying to steal my microphone, and is potentially going to cause hundreds of dollars of damage to my gear. And this is the most I've smiled in days. I'm in LA for this YouTube event with other YouTubers and filmmakers from across the country. So for the past couple of days, I've been stuck in a hotel. I hate hotels. To me, it feels self-indulgent to have a stranger give me four fresh towels every day. Plus, they're generally lonely and depressing places. I was looking for a way to get out. I remember this kind of random email I got about a year ago from a woman named Netta. She had watched one of my videos about a Costa Rican monkey rescue. She liked it and said, if I'm ever in the LA area, I should come to the Gibbons rescue where she worked. So I skipped part of my conference, and I drove up to Santa Clarita to meet Netta and the Gibbons. This is a research and education facility for Gibbons, which I learned are actually apes and not monkeys. Here, they're dedicated to raising awareness to the fact that Gibbons are quickly going extinct in the wild. So the main reason is habitat loss, and that's mostly due to clearing of rainforests for either mining, for agriculture, or for wood. One of the biggest things right now, especially in Indonesia, is um, palm oil. Palm oil is really bad. It's, it's causing so much damage for, for what it, it's giving us. Massive amounts of rainforest are being cut down in order to make room for palm oil plantations. Most of the palm oil is sold to America for common household foods and toiletries. The biggest thing that we are trying to do here is kind of raise awareness for that because people here just don't know and most people don't even know what a gibbon is, let alone what's threatening them. And it's not just gibbons going extinct, it, it's, you know, losing massive amounts of rainforests, which are the main source of, like, the air we breathe, for example, <laughs> which is kind of, we need that to survive. Each gibbon I met was so human-like and had its own personality. They smile when they're happy, <laughs> and they giggle <laughs> when you tickle them, they're like, ee. I would like to help, but I'm broke, and I wasn't sure what to do. I went back to the conference and I showed people the footage, and they got excited, so I decided to plan a return trip, this time with a bunch of other YouTubers. So we all decided to make a video to help promote awareness about these gibbons, and since we each have our own YouTube channel, we ended up making five very different videos about the same place. Rachel did a piece for her American English pronunciation channel. As a no diphthong. Sometimes my students don't round their lips enough for the second half of this diphthong. Veronica made a video for California Travel Tips. <laughs> hey guys, Veronica Hill with California Travel Tips, and today we are at the Gibbon Conservation Center in Santa Clarita. Let's go check it out. Paige did a vlog entry for her horror channel. Did you know that there's 17 different kinds of gibbons? And Brian's gonna make a dubstep song using only the noises that the gibbons make. Back in the hotel room, I started editing the footage. And knowing that somewhere in that hotel there were strange monkey noises playing on different people's computers made the place feel a little less depressing. So, share these videos, avoid palm oil, and stop by and say hi to Netta and the Gibbons if you ever have a chance.